Bonnaroo is probably as much fun uh, as you can have in one place. And the thing that I that I that impressed me most about it was that that the uh, that the festival grew to encompass more than just jam bands, you know, and and uh, so that you can when you go there you can hear a, a pretty much. A, a whole the whole spread of of music that's being that's being made today in the United States and uh, that's that's a very exciting thing when I go there I, I like to go I like to show up on Friday and stay till the very last moment and see as many acts as I can I mean uh, my wife and I went on the Ferris wheel the last time we were there we saw Jackie Green we saw Bill Forsell we saw all kinds of acts you know just wandering around I saw my morning jacket there a couple of years back before they were before they got uh, particularly big and I remember enjoying them a whole lot so and it's just uh, the idea of, of just being able to wander around and, and follow your ear to uh, to, uh, to to hear some music that you maybe haven't had happened to hear before is uh, is a really is a really great thing and it's and it's something that's really important what do you see as a legacy that the band uh, how does it? How do you? How do you feel that manifest in what an event like this is? Well, I'm very pleased that the that the whole concept of festival is still viable. I think it's it's probably the best way to 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 really enjoy music. So so you, because you can go there and you can spend a weekend and you you don't have to you're not you're not worried about going to work or or, or getting home or you can camp out and just. Have, relax, have a good time, and immerse yourself in the music, and uh, and that's that's what we always that that was the spirit that we always tried to evoke at Grateful Dead shows. There's no one genre of music that that's more important than others, you know. And uh, so I, I, you know I like I like to see roots music. I like to see uh, improvisational music. Uh, I, li I, I, I even like electronica and, uh, and dance music, so I guess one of the main things about the Grateful Dead was that there were the, all of those influences that were fused together. I think it's important that, that everybody understand that there's so much variety and, and, and richness and, and range in, uh, in uh, American music that uh, uh, it's, 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 you're doing yourself a disservice if you only listen to the blues, if you only listen to pop music, if you only listen to rap, you know, there's, there's just so much and it, and, and it all, it all hangs together in that it's American music. Now, obviously you've played, you know, some of the, the mothers of all festivals, you know, some of the, some of the... Over the, the years, yeah. Yeah, some of the, uh, the true, you know, moments in history. What, um, I mean, for you, do you go into a festival set with a different, uh, you know, in a different mindset or with a different sort of plan of attack than when you're just out doing, doing regular touring. Well, it's hard to say. Uh, usually, usually, of course, the festival is a very large crowd, and it's usually outdoors, and that 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 uh, influences the way we the way we go in and the, the and the, the set we play and so on. It's about the moment. It's about it's about what it feels like now, and that's uh, what are we going to do? How are we going to how are we going to start? You know, are we gonna are, are we gonna go out and jam a little? Are we gonna jump right into some uh, some classic tune that everybody will recognize? Or are we gonna sneak in or what? You know, as far as I was concerned, it was never noodling aimlessly, waiting to go somewhere. It was we were we were going somewhere, and that's what that's what we're doing. It, it, I mean, the journey is as important as the destination. So uh, we were we were just taking a detour the scenic route.